Cuisinart Easy Prep Pro FP8 Review The Cuisinart Easy Prep Pro FP8 is a convenient food processor that won't take up much space, since it only has the most necessary attachments. Its simple setup and operations make it a handy option for quickly cutting, slicing, and shredding. However, its modest capacity will likely not be enough for larger households. Despite doing what it's supposed to do, it isn't as powerful as bigger models. Small-scale food processors may not provide the same capabilities as their large counterparts or lack convenient adjuncts. The Cuisinart Easy Prep Pro FP8 is a special exception, providing all the essential processor attachments in a small configuration. It measures 38.5 by 19 by 23.5 cm, 15.19 by 7.6 by 9.58 inches and incorporates an ultralight form factor. When the bowl and blade are mounted together it weighs only 2.9 kg, 6.4 pounds. This 1.9 liter, 8 cup bowl comes complete with a chopping and mixing blade that locks into place with a simple twist motion. The lid is securely held in place by the two speed and pulse buttons, which makes it easy to operate. Boasting two counter-rotating, interchangeable cutting, and grating blades, it can create both coarsely and finely sliced or julienned culinary creations. All of the fittings are straightforward to fix, and all of the pieces are capable of being cleaned up in the dishwasher. The British adaptation goes one better, a satellite 0.7 liter 3 cup vessel that fits cozily within the bigger container has its own blade included with it. To guarantee nothing escapes into the primary bowl when mixing, it has a rubber rim around its opening, so there's no excuse for washing both receptacles when you have merely been utilizing the smaller one. For the UK model, you can store the small bowl and blade inside of the main bowl. However, since there isn't a case provided for these items, you will need to safely store the larger blade and discs separately. For the US model, only the discs will have to be stored separately. You need to remember this when deciding where to keep these sharp components. With hardly any need to consult the instruction manual, we quickly got the food processor up and running. Our first task? Slicing up a cucumber is easy. We slid it into the feed chute, and out came perfectly evenly sized slices with zero waste. Cheese shredding produced uniform shapes with medium sized pieces, though a diminutive portion amounting to 12% of the whole, was held captive atop the disc and not shredded. Carrots were cut into even shreds, although many petite slivers were in between the average size. In the end, two lumps of carrot remained above the disc. Using the fine disc for shredding chocolate resulted in considerable vibration through the pusher as we fed it in, however, in the end, about 20% of it remained unshredded and some had melted onto the disc. Unfortunately, some of the chocolate also warmed up during shredding and clumped together in the bowl, ultimately disappointing us with the outcome. The chopping of onion was much simpler in the grand bowl. Every piece of onion looked perfect even after 20 short pulses with the pulse button and it also created excellent breadcrumbs by adding 4 pieces of sliced bread cut in quarters. This 500 grams, 18 diced beef grinder is strong and efficient, although it requires regular stirring to ensure everything is ground evenly. We use the pulse button while keeping a hand on the lid during this task. When stirring the cake batter for making small cupcakes, it is important to hold onto the lid since it had a tendency to move at low speed. Additionally, make sure to scrape down the sides twice after mixing in order to evenly distribute all of the ingredients. For the UK model, we used the high speed setting to grind hazelnuts in the small bowl, however, it was slower than anticipated. And instead of forming a consistent blend of milled pieces, we ended up with an uneven mix of powder and larger pieces. The food processor tested at a noise level of 80 decibels or higher in most cases, with chopping beef and shredding cheese registering the highest at 84 decibels. That is equivalent to the sound of a truck traveling 40 miles per hour down the road, 